Yay, victory rear! Hello there everybody, Stormy Strike here in this episode of Star Stable. We are finally going to get Spirit. Yes, that's right. Finally got the admired reputation thing with him. And then so after I talked with Tori, after being having the the reputation thing and whatnot, I got a super cool item, which is actually, well, I think it's super cool. I saw other people have this, like, on their horse, and I was like, man, I'm so jealous of that. Where did people get that? But I never, like, asked. And so this is what it is. It's a really cute and funny horse hat. And I think it is adorable and super funny. I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. And so I'm really glad that this hat came from the Spirit Quest things, because I had no idea where people got it. I thought maybe they got it from, like, one of the Easter Quest things that I missed. And so I was kind of bummed about that. But then I found out, hey, look at this. The hat actually came from the Spirit Quest. So I'm super excited about that. I mean, it's just so funny. I love, I love this giant horse hat. I, I just love it. So I'm definitely going to be wearing that on my horses sometimes because I think it's so cute and so funny. I believe I have all the different items that they uh, gave us for, uh, Tori gave us for the different spirit things. So we have Lucky's mom's boots there. We have the little, little horse ribbon. That's really cute. And then we have the beige Meroderos uh, sweater, even though that's a t-shirt, not really a sweater. And then there's Lucky's special occasion dress. And then of course what we got, uh, last of all here is the really cute hat. But now it's time to actually go and get Spirit. But first, in order to get Spirit, we need to buy the special apple. So here is the Meroderos apple. And it says, a rare delicacy, an apple from Miradero where Spirit is from, and it is his favorite food. Give this apple to Spirit as a token of your friendship. If you give it to him, he will move into your stable and be one of your horses. Please note that this is a temporary event. Make sure to give Spirit the apple immediately. When the event is over, Spirit will disappear from Jorvik, after which you can no longer trade apples with him. And so I actually didn't really think about it before, but uh, I didn't read this part before on the apple. But I, I did think that the Spirit event was going to be like going on for a really long time because I figured they really want to promote the show probably. So a uh, Spirit Riding Free would want the gate, want Spirit to be in the game for a long time. But I guess he is kind of a limited time thing. So I'm really glad I got the quest for Spirit done and I'm going to hopefully actually get him today. Because I really, really want to get him. So we'll go ahead and buy the apple here. And we will pay it with our star coins. There we go. Oh my goodness, our 100,000 star coins is now down to 9,800, whatever. That makes me kind of sad. I was kind of enjoying having having uh, 100,000. Or wait, 100,000 or 10,000? Wow, my mind is just going off. I'm sorry, did I say 100,000, 10,000? I can't read numbers. Okay, so I heard that Spirit is in Golden Hills. So that is where we're going to go, and we're going to go give him the apple, and then we're finally going to have Spirit as our horse. I'm really excited! And now thinking about it, another thing I'm wondering about is if the like little Spirit Shop thing, if that's only going to be a limited time too. Because if that's the case, then I'm going to want to have to buy any like tack or like outfits and whatever from the little like little thing there before that goes away. I don't know if they will make that go away or not. I'm kind of thinking they would though. If they're not going to have the chance to buy spirit the whole time, then I'm guessing maybe maybe that little shop thing is going to go away too. So I got to figure out what I want to buy from there and probably buy it really soon. Also, you may have noticed my um horse right now. I couldn't I really want like a red and black tack set for uh, Wild Cherry here. I think that looks super cute on her maybe. But for now, I just have Spider Tack from Halloween because she's a spider horse. And since even though I don't have spider in her name right now, she can be a spider horse still with some spider tack. Wow, I just totally fell into that fence. So yeah, there she is in her spider tack, which actually I think looks really good on her. So she's a little, little spider horse. All right, now we're finally here and we'll go and check out, uh, check out where Spirit's at. He's either up in the hill part or down in the forest, I'm guessing. Okay, so I was, uh, incorrect. I thought he was in Golden Hills. It turns out Spirit is actually not in Golden Hills right now, so I don't know. Don't know where he is, so I gotta, gotta figure that out. 
Alright, so Spirit is apparently at the Cauldron here in Epona, which I always kind of get confused on how exactly to get to the Cauldron, but we're gonna figure it out somehow. Aha! Okay, so I kind of figured out what we're doing here. And the, the little thing for Spear just popped up, so he's around here somewhere. I don't know if he's on the outer side of this uh, cauldron spiral road thing, or if he is on the inside. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm afraid to go all the way down there and find out he's not actually down there. But I mean, someone's riding down there, so I guess I guess we could check it out. I don't really see anybody else riding around the edges of, uh... Whoa, I'm sorry, this camera's like getting all wacky out. I don't know if he's on the outside or inside. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep an eye out for him here. Oh, I see someone running out, so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Could be a bad sign. Not really seeing anything down here. This is kind of weird. I've never uh, heard of him popping up before at the uh, cauldron. And I'm falling. <laughs> Alright, I see one other person down there, so maybe he is down here. I see two people, and I, I just fell again. I, I don't even know how that happened. And I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. This cauldron thing is like really confusing to me on like how it goes down. Because it doesn't go down in like a simple little spiral. It kind of goes all over the place. Alright, we're at the bottom. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm guessing maybe people are here for like the quest thing or something. Wow, it is really pretty down here. I forgot how pretty it is. Like this lake is like super gorgeous. Like wow, check that out. That is so pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing Spirit over here at all. So he must be over at the top somewhere. Okay, came up again. Let's see if he's maybe like on the outskirts here then. Oh, oh, I see him. I see him down there. Hello, spirit. We're coming to get you. There he is. Oh my goodness. Come on, wild cherry. Get, get moving. We gotta go get spirit. Ah, oh, there he is. And now he's got a different little thingy. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. He's so cute. I mean, I think he's adorable, honestly. The, the spirit the spirit model horse in the game here is just super cute, I think. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so give Spirit the Mirrodero apple as a token of your friendship and he will move into your stable. Yes, we do want to do that. A token of friendship completed. Spirit loves you so much that he wants to stay. Oh, that's so cute. From now on, he will live in your stable. Spirit is now your horse. I just noticed he bucked. I wonder if he's like the Mustang model and you can make him buck? I don't know. I don't know. I've never had a Mustang yet, surprisingly, even though I love uh, stock horses and stuff. I still do not have a Mustang yet in the game. All right, from now on, Spirit will be in your stable. You can ride him and look after him just like your other horses. You can put equipment on, on uh, Spirit, though. Alrighty, yay! We should do a victory rear! Yay, victory rear! So now, now, we need to go back to our stable. Alright, here we are in our stable, and so let's uh, swap him out so we can see him, because I think he's in the pasture right now. We'll go ahead and swap him out with my starter horse here, because I never really use my starter horse anyway. All right, Mr. Starter Horse, we gotta switch you out for Spirit. Oh my goodness, and he's got da, 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 da. he's got a happy face. There you go. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, come on, clicky thing, clicky off. There he is. Now let's open the door and go see him. Hello there, Spirit. Look at you. You're so cute. Oh my goodness, you're so cool. 
So I don't like I said I don't have a Mustang, so I can't like compare him to see if he's exactly the same model as the Mustang, just with like eyebrows and a blaze and stuff, of course. But um, I think he is probably pretty much the same. Oh, he's really cute. And I want to see here how like the equipment thing is. If it still shows, oh yeah, it still shows that you can put equipment on him. So I'm wondering, can you still put equipment on him? No. Okay, you cannot change his equipment. Okay. Can you put horseshoes on him, though? That's a good question, actually. I'm guessing you can't. So, like, it's really cool, too, that he's, like, level 15. But I feel like you wouldn't really want to use him for racing or anything because of the fact that you can't put, like, equipment on him at all. So you can't give him those extra little bonuses and stuff like you can with different racing equipment. Why is there like a speck on your butt? Oh, never mind. There's like a moving thing. I thought there was like a white speck on her butt for some reason. I was like, what is that? So, let me check and see if we can put the, ho the special horseshoes on him either, but I don't think we can. No, so you definitely can't put anything on him. And there's his uh, stats too. He's got a total of 19 strength, 19 discipline, 17 swiftness, 17 endurance, and 19 agility. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. And so, can he do the little thing? How do you do it again? Can he do the little buck? The little thing? I don't remember how you, how you do it on the Mustangs, because I haven't had one. What do you do to make them buck? Do you just press shift? Do you do like X, shift? I don't, I really don't know. I don't, whoops, not that one. I, I don't know. What did you do on the lippy? I can't remember these things. Because I know the, uh, I love the Lipizanier, by the way. That's like, I think, thinking about it, he is probably for sure one of my absolute favorite horses here. Is the Lipizan, or Lippy, Lipizan, or however you pronounce it. Oop, come here, boy. Let's see, can you do it? What do I do to get you to do the thing? Nope, not that. How do I make you do the thing? Maybe they just don't do it indoors. I'm guessing we don't do it in the stables. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm really sorry. I act so clueless about these things. I feel like I should know better. Alright, Spirit. Let's ride you outside. I wish we could put the hat on you. That would be so cute. Alright, Spirit. Can we make you buck? Can we make you buck? I don't know if we can or not. Oh, we can make you rear. We can do that. I thought we should be able to make you buck, though. That's what the other Mustangs did. I guess he just does his fancy rear instead. Because I guess that's what you do to make them buck, is pressing the space bar while standing still, I think. I don't really remember. But I guess all you do is make him rear. Oh, he's got two different rears then. Okay, so this is the other rear. Hold on. So this is the other rear that he does, like when you press X while you're walking. It's kind of like a little rear. And then there's the full rear. Oh, okay, so he does have a special little thing. So that is pretty cool. He has his little, his little like, woohoo, I'm a full crazy wild Mustang, and I don't know. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. So that is really, really cool. Alright, so I feel like, yay, mission accomplished. We have spirit now, so now I don't have to worry about trying to get him before the uh, quests and stuff go away. Although I do really think I need to get some of that special equipment and stuff, because some of that uh, like tack and clothing is really cool and I don't know if that stuff's gonna go away. So I feel like maybe I should buy some of that or at least something from it. So I might actually go ahead and buy some equipment now then we'll run over to uh, Fort Pinta and do that. So this is also something interesting. I was grabbing just a few um, equipment items to possibly sell on here and it's kind of funny um, when you do like when you hover over a saddle it does make your character go up like you just put a saddle on there which is kind of funny of course it doesn't stay like that though when you actually try to put it on but I just thought that was kind of interesting that it actually does make your character like bounce up and down a little bit okay now we're on our way to uh, Fort Penta couldn't even think of it for a second I guess I don't really need to show the different gates or anything because the Mustangs have been out for a while and I'm pretty sure that Spirit is pretty much uh, very similar to the Mustang Mustang horses, which I think are so cool. I need to get another Mustang for sure, not just Spirit. I probably will end up getting a couple of them maybe. I don't know. There's so many horses I need to get still. Like I feel like I'm never going to catch up on them. 
But anyway, oh, this is so cool. He's super cute. I love the animations on him. He's really cool. And I also, also think it's neat that he has, like, a special, like, extra rear animation, which is pretty neat. I didn't really realize that at all. So that is super fun, although now I really want to get another Mustang, too, so I can try out that uh, fun little bucking animation they do as well. So many different things to do. Okay, oh, and I just noticed, what? We have another quest here with Tori. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh, Spirit is so cute. I'm like, I can't even with it. He is, like, so adorable. All right, so let's see what, uh, what she has to say here. Spirit, it can't be true. You've got to be joking. You're riding Spirit. Wow, you are so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally starstruck. This is the best day of my life. I think I'm going to cry. I got to meet Spirit. I never thought I would get to... I, I got to meet Spirit. I never thought I would get to meet him. Oh, and we get, we get a shirt. Yay! Thank you, Stella. Thank you uh, for letting Sally and I meet Spirit. You have no idea how much this means to us. Take this. It's the least we can do to, uh, as a thank you for actually getting to meet him. This is the best day of my life. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, we're getting all kinds of stuff. Yes, I did dress up like in the shirt and the boots because I thought while we're riding spirit, we might as well be in the spirit of spirit riding free. Alright, so this is a purple spirit sweater. Again, why do they keep calling them sweaters? I have no idea. It's really a shirt. But it actually has uh, some pretty good stats on here. 8 plus riding, 1 plus jumping, command 4. That's pretty good. And so this shirt here is, uh, looks like a purple shirt and it's got like a horse thing on it. That's really pretty. I don't really see how it's much of a spirit looking horse though. Like the horse looks just like a standard horse head. It doesn't look like a special little spirit graphic or anything, but that is a really cute shirt. I dig it, but I'm going to wear my other shirt for now. So let's see what, uh, what we have in the way of buying stuff here. So I will admit, I think it'd be really cute to actually dress up like one of the characters and like buy the different clothes and stuff to dress up like the characters. I think that'd be super cool. But the thing is, they are really expensive. Like Lucky's trousers here, they're really cool, but I don't really want to pay 7,850 uh, uh, shillings for it. And I know you could buy star coins, but I don't ever buy clothes with star coins ever because I just don't. <laughs> so as cool as I think it would be to dress up like the characters, I just don't think it's quite cool enough for me to pay that many uh, star coins for. Because it looks like all of Lucky's things are really expensive. And Abigail's uh, things aren't as expensive. Uh, Prue's are a little more expensive. But I, I just don't, I just don't think it's worth the price of trying to buy everything. I also really like, well, you can't even see it because we're on Spirit now, but the Constellation saddle set things are really cool. Also, that saddle's really pretty. So I also wouldn't mind getting like the whole set of those. But again, it's like they're kind of not very cheap a lot of star coins a lot of not star coins well star coins too but a lot of shillings going on that i'm just not really really sure if i'm willing to pay that much for i will say this little uh, constellation saddle bag is so cute oh my gosh uh you can't see it on spirit right now but it is super adorable i honestly really think it would be worth just getting that because it's so cute I also think these t-shirts are super cool, but again, they are not exactly cheap. So there's one with a spirit on it, one with Chica Linda, and then one with Boomerang. Honestly, I would be totally down for getting this Boomerang one. I'm just still, again, deciding whether or not I should. All right, I don't know what I'm going to buy yet uh, in the way of the tack and stuff here. I really got to figure that out soon, though, because I don't know when they're going to decide to take this event away. I don't really see anything necessarily saying, like, I haven't heard anything yet of when they're taking it away. I'm assuming that they will announce something ahead of time, though, to, like, let us know that the quest is going to be going away soon. So I'm kind of waiting to see, I guess, maybe, like, whenever they do that, I'll really try to make sure to buy stuff then, because I'm sure they're going to give us, like, a week a week warning before they take the spirit event away. Is that kind of it, I guess? I know we could probably run around and do more stuff on spirit, although um, I'm not really sure what right now. 
He is so cute, oh my goodness. And I don't really like when I do any races with him or anything since his like XP is already you know, he's already level fifteen. He doesn't need he doesn't need to be trained on those races and stuff, so I'm kinda don't feel like doing that, if that makes sense. I don't know. Did we see all of his little uh, fun animations and stuff though? I guess we could look at that real quickly. I think it's pretty much the same as the Mustangs though. There he is backing up. I forgot to do the backing up on New Arabian, which is actually really funny because their head like really whips around. It's really weird. Not like really, really weird. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going crazy. So, oh my gosh, he is so cute. He is super cute. And now he's going to do a little pivot for us. Yay, spinning pivoty horsey. Let me see what he is jumping though. I never actually jumped him yet. Oh, he's really cute. He is so adorable. So I'm really, really happy. We got spirit, especially before the event goes away. Who knows where that, when that will be, but uh, yeah. So, so cute. Oh my goodness. So there you have it, guys. There is cute little spirit being all adorable and stuff. And I also have some new uh, spirit writing free videos coming out. So make sure you uh, check those out as well if you want to see more spirit writing free things. And also I do Star Stable videos like different gameplay episodes very frequently. So also keep an eye out for those if you like the Star Stable gameplay videos things that I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody!